with the next tip for productivity here in AutoCAD. And the next one is to use wipeouts. Yes. So for example, I have this 10 and sign over here. And the way that some people do it is, of course, trim the hatch around or, you know, uh, or, or bring the hatch around this tenant sign so I can uh, see better. But that's where the wipeout command comes handy. So let's add a wipeout to this sign so it can hide the some portion of this brick. So to do that, uh, let's, this is, since this is a block, let, let's right click and pick block editor. Um, Oops, let's do it again, block editor. So right here we have this block. So to add a wipeout, simply use the wipeout command like so. And then there would be options here. Let's see, let's select polyline and then let's pick this polyline like so. Erase polyline, nope, I don't want to erase the polyline. So at this point, um, the wipeout is there, but, um, there is a, we need to turn on the frame of this wipeout. So let's use that by using the wipeout frame, wipeout frame like so, and set it to one so we can see the frame. So let's select these uh, two lines and deselect it with, uh, so if you go to the properties, so let's open the PR, we can see that if we select this, there are two objects, of course. So the first one is the wipeout. We need to send the wipeout to the back and we can do that by using the draw order command, dr and pressing enter, and then select the back option. Once we do that, the wipeout is sent to the back and then we can close this block and save the changes. So what happened now is that a wipeout is hiding some of the brick and we can simply move this uh, block as we wish like so and the wipeout will follow and hide the objects behind this um, a brick all right so that's again another tick tip for productivity to use wipeouts um, mostly with blocks because that way you can uh, quickly move both objects uh, inside. Um, so that's another tip for productivity.